I don't wish to either be for or against what you do, what you have. We have many people here. So all we're going to do is just monitor it. Peaceful demonstration, protest, that's it. We're basically trying to raise public awareness, so we're targeting anyone who will listen. But we want ordinary people to understand what's going on, so the purpose of this demonstration is to raise awareness in this area. The banks need to spin off their franchises, they need to be much smaller and simpler, they need to uh, sell off their investment uh, arms, and the government needs to deal with the size and structure of these banks in a way which is actually going to neutralise the burden that they, uh, that they are on the taxpayer and the threat to society that they pose. Well, it's quite clear that we have on our side, or supporting our arguments, a lot of very prestigious people from the Sir Mervyn King, former just retired uh, head of the Bank of England, um, and also, of course, the new Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. They are saying loud and clear that the system needs to be reformed and that light touch, light touch regulation has failed. I think we've won the arguments. Most people in this country recognise the banks have failed us. Most people do want reform. There's a debate about what reforms are needed, but the public is basically on side. The problem is the government, and indeed much of the opposition, really are so, so timid. They're not willing to recognise that the system has to change. There is evidence that when banks get so big and so complex that the people at the top don't even know what's going on.